Welcome to the third and probably the most important section of this course. In this section, we will move our monolithic application to Azure. To do that, however, we will have to first start with the basics and introduce Service Fabric. Now, what is Service Fabric? Service Fabric is actually two things. Primarily, it is a platform as a service offered by Azure for deploying, managing, and scaling stateful as well as stateless microservices. It is also an SDK that allows you to run the service locally on your development machine before actually deploying to Azure, therefore offering a consistent medium across all environments to simplify your development lifecycle. Simply put, if your application works on the local service fabric cluster, it will also work on production. But a reasonable question is, how do you define microservices in service fabric? To understand that, you need to understand the application model. In Azure service fabric, you don't define applications, you rather define application types. You can then use the application type to launch real applications. It's exactly like classes and instances in object-oriented programming. You can imagine the application type as a class, type definition, and the application to be a concrete implementation of that application type, of that, let's say, class. That way, you can use an application type to spawn multiple actual applications that differ in configuration. Each application type consists of service types. Similarly, service types are blueprints for actual services. An application type can have multiple service types, regardless of how many instances of each service type we're going to end up with in our final cluster. Each service type consists of the code, configuration options, and optionally, some static data. Let's apply all that info to our example application. First, we we'll define the application type which is the My To-Do List app in this case. This app consists of three service types defined in its manifest file. The identity service type, the to-dos service type, and the mail service type. We can use this blueprint to create different instances of our application and deploy it to service fabric clusters. So for example, on the upper left corner, we have the simplest case of a concrete application. All service types have a single instance each. On the lower left corner, however, we have scaled our deduce service up to a number of five nodes in the cluster. The identity service has three instances and the mail service has two instances. This is to show that when coding a service public application, we define the structure, the blueprint, of services and the blueprint of the application, thus the terms application type and service type instead of plain application or service. We can then take the application type, deploy it with different configurations and scaling options, and that's a huge benefit that Azure Service Fabric brings to the table. 